Hi. So here I am trying to record another video from a noisy place, a very noisy place, the same noisy place, my house. Welcome back. This is the collaborator series where I'm going to be collaborating with some amazing authors and writers to bring to you several new stories. The first story in this particular series is The Magic Flute written by Aditi Lehri. And this particular storytelling is an adaptation of the simple poignant story written by Aditi. Once upon a time, in a small village, where there was lots of happiness, lots of peace, lots of prosperity, all of this in abundance, there lived two best friends, Rafiq and Gopal. Rafiq and Gopal were inseparable. Everyone simply admired their friendship, you know. They loved to see these two friends together all the time. Rafiq and Gopal went to the same class in the same school, the Orange Flower School in Solon Valley. Right, they loved to play cricket together, they loved to trek together, um, they were there for each other all the time. Yeah? It's always good to have a, a friend like that, right? A best friend, a special friend. Now, Rafiq loved to play the flute. Huh? And it was not just any other flute. He had a magic flute and every time he played his flute, anyone and everyone would stop their work and they would just listen to these melodious tunes, you know, emerging from his flute. They would just stand still, you know, they just loved his music. Everyone loved his music. It was so good. It was that good. Now, there's always a twist in every tale. Here comes the twist in our tale. Gopal fell sick. Rafiq immediately pulled out his magic flute, took Gopal to a huge, you know, space with lots of nature, trees, plants, everything, and he played his flute. Gopal started to feel much, much better. One day, when Rafiq had gone to write his exam, he heard someone calling out to him. It sounded very similar to uh, uh, Gopal's voice, but Gopal was not around at all. Anyway, Rafiq finished his e exam quickly and rushed to Gopal's house. And there he saw Gopal's mother upset. She was crying. And he saw that Gopal was sick once again, really sick. Immediately, Rafi took Gopal outside, Gopal in his, school, uh, in his wheelchair. And there he pulled out his magic flute and he played the melodious tune once again. Sunflowers started to bloom, looking straight at the sun. And the red oleanders, the marigolds, one by one, they started to bloom here, there and everywhere. It was such a beautiful sight. Gopal was beginning to feel much, much better. Gopal was beginning to understand that music and nature were the best healers. Days went by. Sometime later, it so happened that Rafiq had to move. Rafiq had to shift to another place, to another town. It was time to say goodbye. Gopal wanted a parting gift. Do you know what he asked for? Gopal asked Rafiq to give him his magic flute. And Rafiq, being a true friend, generously gave his magic flute to his dear friend, his best friend, Gopal. Both the friends said bye to each other, promised each other that they will stay, be in touch with each other forever. Days went by, years rolled by. After 10 long years, 
Rafiq decided to come back to the same place to meet his good old friend. And what do you think he saw there? Ta na 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 That place had become much more beautiful. Many more trees, many more plants, many more herbs, flowers of all colors and hues. It looked so beautiful. And there was a boat which had Nature is the best healer. Dear friends, spend more time in nature to become better individuals. When Rafiq read that, he knew that Gopal must have put that board over there, must have written it over there. Not surprisingly, Rafiq saw Gopal taking children on nature walks over there. He saw children playing flutes. He saw children singing songs. So much of joy, happiness, peace and fulfillment over there. Rafiq was very happy to see his friend. He was actually proud of his friend Gopal. The place looked divine. It looked so beautiful. Gopal and Rafiq definitely understood the true essence of music and nature. Music and nature are the best healers. And that's the end of the story, my dear friends. So don't hesitate to step out. Go to that park. Go, go on a nature walk. Okay? Have a small garden. Enjoy nature. Ah, and also don't miss out on the music. Okay? Oh, wait a minute. Don't go away. Would you like to meet the author of the story? She'll be joining you now. Hello everyone. I'm Mrs. Aditi Lahiri, an English and French language trainer and also a storyteller and I also love to write stories for children. So today I would like to share some tips with you to make children more creative. First and foremost, listen to the stories created by children. Ask them to write them down. Even if it is for two lines, ask them to write it down. That will give them a lot of confidence. And also allow them to be messy. Allow them to play with Play-Doh, dough, anything that's available at home under your supervision. Play with them. Enter into their world so that they are creative. Thank you.